Hey, hello everybody, how you doing today? My name is Riveras and welcome back to another episode of Let's Finish Blade and Soul Online and let's see if I can get this character to say hi. No? Yes? No? Mm. Hi? <laughs> no? Oh, uh, well, I can get it to, to dance, so that, that's good enough. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is uh, we're going to be checking out the... Um, dungeons and uh, I'm gonna go straight away to a cross server uh, party matchmaking for the black ram narrows already uh, I'm four levels above what I guess would be the normal um, but you can not um, solo these dungeons at all like maybe if you were level 30 or something like that you could uh, be able to solo it but isn't they are not really designed for that at least not for the level they are designed for <laughs> um so let's go Looking ahead and dungeon. look for a party so but you can um i believe you can choose up to three dungeons and then um the quickest one that fills out that's the one you're gonna go for um Looking for a so dungeon. we got a level 42 i don't know why uh, we got a level 40 as well. Uh, that's good. That means we're gonna run through this really, really, really quickly. Um, so let's see if I can get all the information out there. So now that we already um, have the, the match um, with all the characters, now we're jumping into uh, an instance uh, for cross server uh, characters. And uh, what we can do here is we can repair weapons to the right, we can have a merchant with a uh, the hammer on the left and we also have uh, the warehouse right on the I guess this this would be the left um, yeah this would be the left <laughs> so weird uh, so yes and now we're going into the dungeon um, there are definitely parts where you can do it on your own depending on your level or depending on your equipment oh, no. eh, whatever. I'm gonna let it do it uh, this initial part is really easy. Uh, the way you get all those ones killed is that uh, this guy appears and uh, you know kills all of it. Pretty cool because you know you it's it says okay um, we're integrating story related things into this dungeon, so it ties you up more to the story, which is something I, I really like about, about Blade and Soul. It always tries to keep uh, pushing the story into your you know into everything you do in this game um, so there are certain things that you gotta drop for uh, in this dungeon let's see um, <laughs> semi bosses uh, let's say sub bosses uh, drop you a certain piece of the soul shield but that's only the sub bosses, not the semi bosses. I, I guess that guy was like a semi boss or something like that. So he wouldn't drop it for you. Ah, oh, come on. Um, that kick uh, is really strong, but it has like a very narrow damage zone, uh, which is kind of annoying. And yeah, so. As we continue on, I guess uh, making reference to this is important. Uh, I'm still under attack, really. Ah, it's so narrow, man. Come on. So this is just um, lives. So if you die, it gives you one. And I guess I can do 8,000 damage to him with this, which is awesome. So if you... If like every boss has like this certain mechanic which is makes it a little bit easier to deal with this guy is like everything no i'm gonna pass i already got everything for this dungeon i'd repeated it like 10 times or six maybe uh, i just needed this there you go the next option will start you have withdrawn from the auction don't really mind uh, the other person can have it uh pretty max all of this, uh, I just need to buy, I guess from the auction I would buy it uh, to finish up, to, you know, to do the breakthroughs and things like that. Um, I don't know, I think that was another semi-boss there, not like an actual stop boss. Uh, that 
would be my way of calling it semi bosses instead of like soft bosses and stuff. You cannot um, do that right now. I guess I'll just continue with them. They don't seem to be caring too much about the people behind them. And I guess I shouldn't as well. So I shot him. Oh, what? I did deflect it. Oh, Ooh, okay, nice. Oh, and uh, I switched my counter. Right now. now, oh, come on. <laughs> now my counter is much, is much, much shorter. And, uh, uh, but it, 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 it's an, like an attack. And uh, it uses only one sphere instead of giving me back three spheres so I just find it good because it just it seems to be pretty quick as well it seems to be canceling much better than just like a normal block so I find that pretty cool uh, just picking that up just in case I need to you know later on um, upgrade more oh no I, I very dislike that very very much I think this is part of the um, sub boss maybe I'm not completely sure another were a few oh okay 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 so the first sub boss was the one <laughs> uh, was the one back there uh, where he dropped something where everyone would just like could beat on it oh that's the thing I didn't explain you can uh, the way it works here is that you can beat on the stuff and uh, if you bid more, you get it, but then the other people get the money that you bid on it, so... Oh. Uh, so this is another sub boss, and you know, because, you know, the bidding starts. If everyone leaves the room, then the, the last person on the room is the one that can get everything for just one penny, so to speak. So it would be like one copper. Uh, they kind of want it, so I'm just going to keep going on. Um, through it and uh, here we go there's a scene here but yeah so it's individual I thought it was collective but I guess it's not um, it's about this little fat guy there you go so this guy is very not doable one v one because when he decides to grab you he kills you in one shot <laughs> so that's one cool thing about him if if he's jumping on you oh that was me awesome <laughs> so if he's jumping on you oh I thought okay my e was my e was down so that's why I couldn't do it um, but if he you know if he's on the air when he's about to jump down and you can save the people that are on that choke uh, that choke is a one-shot kill at least for me he would choke you for like three seconds check 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 and then when he throws you to the ground that's a certain death but you can um, it's assigned to like at least four people three people are killing this guy so you stun stun and then he releases the person that is grabbed um, so yeah I guess explain the bidding system very well it's it's very um, I, I don't know the word right now it's very understanding like you would understand it easily damn i don't remember the word uh psychological is not the word <laughs> um it basically that it like if you think about it it's it's really easy to understand uh what's going on So what I did there is I went in, I thought I, I would still have the tiger freezing stand there, stands or whatever. It's like uh, instead of having a grapple, I have uh, something that's like a shield for three seconds if someone attacks me, it freezes them and I think it freezes me as well. And then I can release the, the freezing and, and start attacking them. Uh, and yeah, this is a cinematic for the ending. And what happens here, if you are still watching the cinematic and you want some of the items, you actually have to get out of the cinematic. Because there are people going to be already doing the bidding system uh, thingy. And uh, that's basically, you can skip like the first item. You're not going to get it because you're watching the cinematic. And it's a little bit long. But it's really good because uh, it gets you onto, you know, 
General Kobong. Uh, the story of the game, as, as I say, they keep pushing these little, little details, these little things, and they keep pushing cinematics into it, which actually makes it great. It, it makes you get more into it. Uh, it makes you know more about the story because what I normally do is just F, 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 and I just continue with the quest. But when you know this cinematics helps a lot to get you interested in, in in the story and maybe take it take it a little bit slower and start reading or start listening because uh most of the characters i've noticed uh have actually voice acting now so um you don't have to um, read per se but you know uh, if you want to just go through it faster you might as well just read it and as you can see, oh no, the beating hasn't started. I guess everyone else was just watching it. I guess it's collective. If someone doesn't skip it, no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure it's not like that. I'm pretty sure it's not like that. Uh, so at the end, as, as, as always, um, remember to get this because I think uh, if you don't get it, then... Um, if you don't get it, um, what's gonna happen? <laughs> I think when you get out of the dungeon, if you don't get it there, uh, you can get it out of the dungeon. So it's gonna be a little bit, you know, weird when you be like, oh, where's my damn item? Um, here I already got what I needed. I guess this You're guy back. is just to complete it. I've been waiting for you. Oh, I also and have this gift for you on behalf of Bamboo oh, Village. Okay. Mm. You risked your life for the safety of the Viridian coast. Mm. Yeah, I'm already past level 20. So, you safe in your travels, warrior. so I think I understand now why high levels do these uh, dungeons. I guess they do this dungeon and then they keep going to the other daily dungeons, you know, so they keep going and going and going and going. And that's just to get the keys and to get the experience and all of that. So I guess it's become a lot like... Uh, <laughs> It's become a lot like World of Warcraft, where I haven't played World of War World of Warcraft so for a while and for a long time. But um, I'm guessing that's a duel. Uh, I'm guessing that a whoa. What's going on? She wow. She died, and then the cat died. Oh, she has the the cloth of the of the red ones, I guess, and because of that, she started. She just killed her. Interesting, um, knowing that this is a cross server uh, party, um, you know, stuff where you just congregate and go ahead and do the the dungeon. It's kind of weird. She decided to kill her, but okay. So this is gonna be the video for now, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. This is um. My thoughts on the dungeon, which I guess I really didn't say, is that I don't like it that you can do it solo. Uh, you always had to do it uh, with a party. Uh, but it's cool because if you do, if you go to the crossover dungeons, then it's really easy, really, really easy to get a party. Uh, sometimes you get a party that does it right away, goes right away, goes through it real quick. Uh, the bidding sometimes uh, could be annoying. Uh, you're trying to bid, 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 bid. And then someone puts like one silver just so that when you press bid real quick uh, or one goal or whatever, when you press it, it's just going to make you bid all that much. And normally what it would do is just bid, 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 bid. And then it would start like increasing by one and then by two and then by three. But then, you know, there's going to be the asshole that is going to increase it by a lot real quick. And then because you're just pressing bid, 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 then it's just going to you know waste your money like that but it's okay uh you just gotta be careful and, and not let that happen and uh um not uh completely okay with the bidding system you do win some money uh because of the bidding system so you know it has its ups and downs but then um it's it's, it's just you know but i, I guess it, it's better than the when uh than other stuff or uh you never know who is the person that's going to get it. If it's going to be the person that needs it or if it's going to be the person that just greets for it or something here, at least if you have money, you can get it now. And, 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 and then that person gets out of the dungeon. Then you go straight into the dungeon again. You can find people that do it real quick, like just now. So uh, really doesn't uh, bother me that much. Uh, the bidding system, it really doesn't bother me that much that it's solo because of all of that. So, you know, where where I, I don't like it for, cer th for certain things, it actually fixes it up with other things, which is just quite great to me. 
Um, and yeah, um, I guess that would be the only thing I don't like about the dungeons. Everything else was pretty good. Uh, I felt like I could solo certain things, which which was awesome. But there were other things that you know, uh, like the backstabbing ones, like the backstabbing bosses, where you were killing this boss, and as you were killing it, then right before, like 25, 50 percent, uh, as they're low in life, then there would be other stuff that would come around and try to kill you, and that would be a little bit disappointing because I really did want it to. I really did want to uh, solo the dungeon, but it's okay, you know, it, it was really good. Uh, I had a, a, a lot of fun because, you know, it was easy <laughs> at certain times, you know, depending on who you have. Uh, the other video I was doing was 30 minutes long and uh, the audio was a little bit too loud from the game. So I decided to discard that one and do another one. Hopefully this one is good enough. Hopefully you guys like this one. Hopefully you guys subscribe, share and comment and something and I'll... Uh, yeah, and, and this is actually just going to be it for today. Uh, so have a good one, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, have a good one. I'll see you.